Hey, we're live. Hello, hello. Welcome to Coffee Craft. Um, sorry, got a little distracted there by other things, including the fact that the coffee finally finished uh, brewing. So I'll probably be taking an intermission very immediately after I go through my introductory stuff. Uh, unless I can beg Ray Esther or Arcadius to go grab me a cup. Um, you saw that work there at the end of the last one. There's a big pit over here for one of... I'm going to try to do one or two really big builds before before we end Season 1. Um, and one of them is going to require this space here. If it works out all right, uh, then I hope to do it again and build a second version of this farm uh, maybe maybe next to it over here if I can if I can work out the space I should be able to work out the space it's just going to be a matter of pumping uh, the the product that it produces out from uh, oh, into that storage system over there but alright anyway that's uh that and I <laughs> I, I made an update to the uh, to the resource pack, so uh, we'll see if anybody runs into any wandering traders, shall we say? Uh, so yeah, the two mysterious farms over there, the roof over here, those are the three ginormous projects that I really want to finish. Like I really, really, really want to finish. I would like to put some sort of interior to the lighthouse over here. Um, it's not a major thing, but I would like to do that anyway. Because I spent all this time building this lighthouse. I really wanted to jam it full of farms and try to, try to see just what I could do with that. And, well, time. Time happened. I hear that. It's one of the few constants. So instead of filling that full of farms, I'm going to... I'm just going to decorate it. I'll put some floors in, put some stairs in. You know, do, do that kind of thing. Uh, and it'll just be a pretty decorative farm instead of a uh, useful one. And I guess my little shack will stay the starter shack of shame that it has been for the duration of the season. Uh, the em the shiny emerald retirement home will probably have to make its debut in season two. Uh, which, in between season one and two, we may we may do a skyblock series just between 1.17 and 1.18 because what we really want is we really want the new terrain stuff and uh, rather than do a short season from I believe they said that uh, 1.17 is due to be out next Tuesday so not today but a week from today uh <laughs> 1.17 will officially be released, or so I've been told, and then somewhere in holidays, uh, uh, 2021, we will see, we'll see, uh, 1.18. 1.17 brings a lot of new books, like, uh, blocks, like candles and copper ore, and all sorts of fun stuff like that, and one dot. 18 is what's going to bring the new cliffs and caves. I, I kind of wish it was the other way around. Thank you. Uh, I kind of wish it was the other way around because then we... I wouldn't mind updating the world in the middle if it had been the other way. But that's life. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. Let me go back to our options. Pull that back just a smidge. I needed the uh, volume at full blast for recording uh, a video that you should check out on the YouTube channel. There's a link down in the description below. Uh, later. Not right now. Right now we're live. Watch. 
we're not gonna we're not gonna get one single wandering trader. And I think yep, medic's on. How are you doing? Sorry, sorry. How are you doing? Yeah, funny thing about that, I was down in the uh, little farm area that I had made, and one of the villagers actually had the same tone as you, so it <laughs> sounded like you were actually in game, and I heard, how you doing? I was like, uh, I'm okay, how are you? <laughs> I, I, I really wish that there were, well, okay. I, I've been thinking about this because I put together the uh, a voice pack for Wandering Traders that uh, is up on the server right now. Um, and I just, I'm wondering if there's a way to turn off the game's ability to do its own pitch shifting and voice modulation like it does uh some random volume changes it does uh pitch shifting it does a few other, you know a couple other minor minor adjustments like that and uh there's a part of me that wants to turn that off but the more i think about it the the more i realize that that might take away from the variety when you're talking to these guys and I wouldn't want that either so I don't know that was a long way of saying I, I don't know if I that's one of those cases of careful what you wish for I like it the way it is well I I, I do like it the way it is I just sometimes the changes that they make uh are somewhat frustrating like with, with the wandering traders I went through a lot of effort to, to give it the old-timey radio voice with a little reverb like he's yelling at you through a megaphone um, but the the changes that Minecraft does to the voicing on its own kind of really messes with the effect so uh, you know I, I kind of wish you could turn that on or off as you want. I mean, I already changed my voice when I did the villager recording, so it was pitched a little different. But, I don't know. I, I, I do wonder, if though, if uh, when you get a crowd of these guys, like a trading hall here, you need that random variation in voices to make it feel a little bit more like a crowd. And a little less like a bunch of automata running around asking how you're doing. Traders, are we going to have in one space? The what? How many wandering traders are you planning on having in one space? Uh, well, less for the wandering traders, because unless you add data packs that change it, you can only have one wandering trader in loaded chunks near a player at any given point in time. That's not fun. No. Ish. I mean, uh, on the one hand, there there are days that I they <gasps> really deeply, deeply annoy me. Uh, but there there are days that I'd really li <laughs> I'd really like one to come by. My little dude has eyes. I was wondering if you're gonna notice that. That was the other change that I made. I just didn't want to say anything to see who noticed and who didn't. My little dude has eyes. You, you like the changes to the uh, totem of undying? I like the little dude with eyes. <laughs> I mean, let, let's be honest. That's the look on your face when you need him. I mean, that's not wrong. <laughs> I like little dude with eyes. Yeah, I, I just kind of quietly added that to see who noticed and how long it would take. I, I figured you would be the first to notice, but I wasn't sure how long it was going to take. How do you not notice little dude has eyes? 
I never use it, so I would never have noticed. Like, never, never? You never use the totems of undying? Nope, I used it one time to get whatever achievement it was that I was supposed to get, and that's it. I don't huh. understand how you play. Uh, yeah. Carefully. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I'm not careful. I'm saying that I really do get a lot of u mileage out of the uh, totem. Okay. Usually I don't. It's one of those things that I don't need until I need, but at that point that you need it, it's a little late to go looking. How about that? Fair. I need to gather redstone and other supplies. What are you guys working on? I'm still putting string down. Oh, on the uh, Catan map? Mm-hmm. Just messing around in here in the maze. Spawn during rainstorms. Can what? Bad guys come out during rainstorms. Yes, they can. Can someone sleep? Maybe. If it's a thunderstorm, yes. If it's just rain, no. Doesn't appear to be thunder. Uh, it only thunders in certain areas on the map, like plains. And oh. uh, lightning strikes can kill things through glass. I noticed that when Azuma Void was testing out uh, some of the new some of the new mobs for 1.17. So he was testing out the, the lightning rod and summoning lightning, and even though the villager was completely encased in glass, they still got converted to a witch. Which means that that circle of glass around our sheep is not enough to protect them Did from the lightning. Did you do that intentionally? What? Which means? No, I didn't do that intentionally this time. I will I will endeavor to uh do that more intentionally later. And Okay. It's uh Which means to forget. Yeah. Oh, I also came about this close to reskinning all the chickens as rubber duckies. But I wasn't going to do that until I could make them squeak. That should be a thing. I mean, for the for the real in joke, I should make the the chickens go moo, but, or make the chickens and the ducks that go moo. But what if you set it to random, and every uh, now and again it mooed? I can't. Unless. I have faith in you. Unless the chickens have more than one voice that triggers randomly within the game, I could not. How about that? I think you could. It's okay. I believe in you. You got this. Yeah. That was not nearly as much redstone as I thought it would be. <laughs> I 
I need to get some lumber. Uh, let me, let me, uh, where's the scaffolding? If I were raised, there we go. I got the best. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a compliment, but I'm going to take it as one today. Oh, really? Yeah. I had to go ask the person who, among other things that they did, they used to do the part of the work that I do now. Uh, something about a process because we use some old stuff that nobody has used in inventory in a hot minute. And I was asking how to process it because there was some contradictory information. And the response I got is, well, this is what I did when I was doing that, but I'm not like you. I don't question everything. Oh. I'll take the... I'll take it as a compliment. Like, and that's why you don't have that job anymore when you used to do. <laughs> I can't hear what you just said. So it, that's why you no longer have the job you used to do. I mean, there's a reason that I was swiftly given the task to uh, analyze everybody's work before final invoices went out to customers. Because <laughs> I have no problem going, huh, that's weird. Did you mean to do this weird? Because you did it weird. Did you mean to do this weird? Yes, I, I'm sure that's exactly the way everybody wanted to think it. Did you mean to do this weird? Because this is weird. I don't usually say it exactly like that. Usually I say something like, well, according to your proposal, it was supposed to be this, but you did that. Could you please look this over and tell me which one is accurate? I mean... There's a part of me that wonders if you're going to take that Marine Corps heritage and speak to them in contractor. I mean, it just kind of depends on the situation. <laughs> I saw a recommendation for a book similar to one that I've read relatively recently. Uh, the book is called Seven Dirty Words, and it has some of the history and entomology of various uh, language. Oh, I have a couple of those books. Those are awesome. It came recommended. Uh, I am cautiously optimistic on it, because the last one that I read was not it seemed very good, except the two very glaring issues kind of brings the rest of everything into question. Does that make sense? It does. Because if you got this big thing wrong, then... Yeah, it, it, if you made what other little this things? mistake here, what other mistakes did I not catch? Because I know about these... See, that's basically what I do at my job. Like, oh, you made this mistake here, which makes me question everything you did. <laughs> I can't remember. That's what I do for a living. I go, huh. That guy there or not? Eh, I'll find out soon enough. Oh, now it's rainy and dark. Can someone fix that, please? Not yet. It's not time yet. Let me uh, move before I get. Could you try harder? Flushed. I could try harder, but according to Minecraft, you can't sleep right now. Uh, well, obviously, Minecraft does not understand the value of a good nap. <laughs> there are days that I've come to value the a good nap. I'm just saying. Once upon a time, we were all short people and fought the naps. And now I look back at my younger self and go, why did you have a problem with this? This is wonderful. <laughs> yeah. A nice mid-afternoon siesta. This is great. Mm-hmm. We could be very European about that, and that would be just fine by me. Yeah, I gotta look up, uh, because you're mob-proofing all that area, you will almost certainly not 
see a wandering trader. Uh, I might, because of where I'm at. I don't know if medical, because I don't know where he's at. He's hiding. In my base. I also do need to look do up. Home hmm? Do traders do home visits? Can uh, they appear in your base? They will randomly appear in spawnable areas once every so many ticks, but there's only a 17% chance for them to appear. So it feels more random than it is. So every however many ticks it is, uh, one has a 13% chance to appear. If no one does at that time, then the next go round, uh, it has a higher percentage chance to appear. <laughs> yeah. And, and the Wandering Trader is one of those mobs that I have very mixed feelings about. There are times that I absolutely love them, and then there are times that they appear in the middle of my redstone. And I, I'd kind of like them to be somewhere else. Uh, they also have a chance of like them to not. appearing near claimed bells as well. Or I think there's claimed a higher... Or claimed. Claimed. Like, I claim this bell in the name of the village. Oh, okay. That's not strange at all. Well, I mean, th think of what they're... they're technically kind of sort of supposed to be they're, they're, they're supposed to be well people going from place to place trading stuff where are you more likely to find stuff to trade over over at the village how do you know you're at the village you're behind at the Walmart bell. whatever huh behind Walmart what <laughs> <laughs> really really I mean I'm just saying yeah Oh, we still got to get your uh, server umlas signed back up. Such a good story. I need to read that again. That's a sad story. That is a very sad story. In case anyone's wondering, Ursula K. Le Guin, the ones who walked away from, and there's a lot of disagreement about how to pronounce the city name, but Omelas, Umelas, oh, there, yeah, there's yeah. lots of variation. I, I was kind of. I've not actually ever heard the author do a reading to know what their take on how to pronounce their made up city is. I was just going to slide right on by that difficulty. And try not to mention it. Well, no, because if if someone's looking it up, the Umalus pronunciation is going to lead them to Google something that's not going to bring up the story. Yeah. Umalus will get you uh, a bunch of rock and roll titles. Heavy metal. Oh, wait, no, that's Umalts. No, wait. What's the name for the little two dots that Motorhead and all the metal bands of the of the eighties uh, would put for no good reason? You mean the late nineteen hundreds? No, no, we are not doing that. I'm assuming that's the video that disappeared before I had a chance to watch it. What the late nineteen hundreds? Well, you you sent me a video and uh, it was gone before I could watch it. Oh. Can they spawn on tree leaves? No. No. Nothing can spawn on tree leaves. Okay. Yeah, that probably was the video because there was a really funny one about that topic. I, I was kind of... It was also sad. I was figuring... All right. 
also there is one with a lady who's like, do you need to card me? And the person's like, no, I can see the one. And she's like, what do you mean you can see the one? And he's like, the one at the beginning of your birth year. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, that's... Uh-huh. Mm-mm. It burns. Hey, that's a very brave man to be saying something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Uh... <laughs> there are things that just aren't done, and, uh... That's one of them. That's one of them. If you're smart, that's one of them. Alright, how far did that go? Hello, Beach Duck. We were just talking about how some punk decided to refer to the uh, 1980s and 1990s as the late 1900s. To be fair, eventually in history mm -hmm. books, that no. is what it will be. Uh, long after after my dust is scattered into the wind. It is sadly not an inaccurate mm -mm. unit of measurement. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No. No, we're not going there. No. Not going to do it. That's what you think. Of course, I say that, and I could do the whole wouldn't be prudent part, but how many people remember that Saturday Night Live sketch? Or which Only president those. it was attributed you know. to? Only huh? those back in the late 1900s. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping things. I don't believe you ever asked him to. That's beside the point. As you are so fond of staying. And even if he did, helping you against Reyes, it wouldn't be prudent. <laughs> That's actually been surprisingly productive for for such a small farm. As it pops off another two kelp. The intent was to do that large scale. The only thing, the only drawback was uh, the the number of observers that it required. Although I guess it doesn't really look like you needed it in large scale. Uh, well, the idea was to start producing enough kelp for kelp blocks um, to, to use as a fuel source for the smelter that we never got around to upgrading since the Zeratic bamboo farms didn't work. Oh, there they are. I, w I was wondering if the uh, e. housing committee would uh, show back up again. Hi, are you I guys thought from I was the, the only Anglophile here. Hmm? You say we. I thought I was the only Anglophile here. Ow. Yeah, these guys are next on my list for updates. I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, I feel like they ought to have a Scottish accent for some reason. It's mean to Scottish people. But only if I give them blue paint. Uh. <laughs> no. No. I mean, I, I try I can't to can't swim. <laughs> oh there oh no. Why will I not swim? Well, I mean I mean I can't IRL, but you know. <laughs> I was trying not to Can't swim. Nope. You want to know what my mom does for a living? 
teaches swim. Friends and Aquatic Center, where she teaches people to swim. That doesn't mean anything. I know how stubborn you are sometimes. sometimes. Uh, apparently, when I was a very little child, like, real, like itty bitty little, uh, I was really good with the Mommy and Me class. And according to the story, um, the next phase, again, this was the late 1900s, so everybody should think oh. about, you know, how we deal really? with children then. Um, the next phase required the parents not to be allowed in the room and they tried to put people in the water and I said no and some sweet person at a YMCA-ish like establishment, I don't think it was actually a YMCA, but no. something on that vein, um, did not take my like one to two year old self's no as a final statement. And I made them regret that, and they gave my mom her money back. Mm. I believe I have once heard the story where I actually drew blood. I don't know if that's a later edition or not, but I believe it. Yeah, I believe that. Oh, oh shoot. I meant to stop it before it got there. So, uh, yeah, after that, I said, no, this is not happening. And you know what did not happen? The thing that I said no to. Like I said, I know how stubborn you are sometimes, so. Sometimes. Uh, pot. Hmm? Something about pots and kettles. And I just blew up the blast chamber again. Can you see Arcadius from where you're at? Is he in? Uh, Arcadius? He just yeah. went to go answer the door. <gasps> Yay. Don't, don't tell me if it's food, because I haven't ate at all today. Why? Why have you not eaten at all today? Just issues. Uh. I've been told that's not healthy. Not eating or having issues? Both, technically. No wandering idiot yet. Oh, although I'm hearing sounds that lead me to believe there's... Oh, there is lava. Okay. Uh, yes, Arcadius put lava in his game. That seems unsafe. Arcadius built an unsafe game? <gasps> All right. That was very definitely not what was supposed to happen. I thought I was going to stop at one tree before we got to that, but... Alright, maybe I can fix this. Oh, not fix it, fix it. staring very very intently at the at the stairwell his life is difficult mm -hmm. his life is very difficult all right i'm getting impatient for the wandering trader if he doesn't show up in the next few minutes i i might just you know make one show up 
thought you didn't like doing that. I don't like doing that. Well, there's plenty of places here for him to do his thing. Yeah, but it's one of those things that, uh, on average, they show up uh, like once every three hours. We don't. We don't stay on that long. Uh, now you see my grumbliness. opened up my inner chest and I see a totem of undying Corrales staring back at me. <laughs> yes. Isn't it cute? That is funny. Uh oh. His name is Nope. I lost a slab somewhere. His name is No? His name is No. I didn't give him a name, but okay. I named him. His name is now. Uh, I intended to, but ran out of time. Uh, I intended to figure out what I needed to do to uh, also change the sound when you uh, use a totem. <laughs> yeah, or something along those lines, yeah. Alright, bet I could be back. Uh oh. If this is like uh, earlier in the weekends, this might be a minute. Poor guy. Yeah. Can you. Oh, you have a cactus, okay. I am not a cactus. I mean, I am prickly, but I am not a cactus? a cactus. Huh? You said it. What? What? I'm going to go get the thing that Arcadius just brought in. Ah. Oh, he hasn't brought it back in yet. My stole. Mm-hmm. So is the tree farm the goal today? What? Isn't that where you are? The tree farm? That is where I'm at. It is broken, broken. Like, I, I had intended to try to use it just enough to get some lumber, but not enough to actually blow it up again. And I, I failed in that particular endeavor. Oh, okay. You broke it. Yeah. Not just a little bit either. Like how bad? Hmm? How bad? Oh, of course there's a slab missing. That's where the dynamite's supposed to go for. Duh. Oh. So it's an intentionally missing part? Some parts are left intentionally missing. Maybe it's missing. not as broken as you thought. No, it, it is very much as broken as I thought. I love how it makes redstone glowy. What? String? Mm hmm. How oh, it makes redstone. What? Glowy? It makes it glowy. Okay. Oh! You know the difference between in the ground redstone ore and like when you walk on it or try to mine it redstone ore? Yeah. It does that, it makes it pretty. Okay, now I know what you're talking about. Hey. It scares me when I know what you're talking about, but I know what you're talking about. Uh, you would think as much practice as you've had over the years that you would have it figured out by now, and yeah. it would be more scary if you didn't. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. You've had well over a quarter of a century to figure this out. Uh, let's not, let's not. Now you're getting into that was mine. late 1900s territories. 
Mm-hmm. Isn't that right, Peach Duck? I think the internet went out again. Yeah, probably. It's hard to rest somebody who keeps logging out of chat because the internet drops out. Yeah. Lumber is why I'm here. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. I can't yet. It's only 1818. You can't sleep until 1833. Okay, well, I will be RB. Okay. Your dinner has arrived. Jeff has very carefully followed it all the way from the door <laughs> to the counter. <laughs> oh, poor Jeff. You very carefully guarded that pizza all the way from the door to the counter. And what does he get for his troubles? Kicked out of the counter. Uh, out of the kitchen. Alright. Let me try to repair this up as best I can. And... And then I will... I don't know what I'll do. I'll do something. This... This thing... There's another one of those projects that I really, really do want to finish before the end of the season, but I, I, I am limited by the fact that I don't know enough about how it works to figure out what is wrong. Um, I know I complained about it the whole, in a previous, uh, in a couple of previous live streams. One of the things that made it kind of frustrating is that the tutorial was done in creative mode and not just in creative mode where you can fly to all the creative angles that you need to uh, you know contort yourself in a way that will get the components to where they're supposed to be but it was also done using a data pack that lets you choose the rotation of the item uh, as your as you're placing it. So, you know, to get those pistons the way you want, you could actually be off to the side and have the pistons the way that you want, which would be very, very cool. Uh, and very useful, especially when you're trying to do, place observers. Uh, it is why we have the redstone wrench And, uh, okay. Where did the cyan wool go? Uh, oh, okay. That probably went right there. Okay. That wasn't as bad as it could have been. Anyway, uh, yeah. So it's one of the it's one, the the only problem with the redstone wrench is that when you turn things, particularly like observers, when you turn observers, they don't that uh, they'll actually fire redstone pulse, which means you could accidentally end up uh, powering or unpowering a circuit that you didn't mean to. When you turn components like comparators and repeaters. Uh, you have to update them sometimes. In other words, they, they don't... Once they've been turned, they don't work the way that they, they're supposed to work until they've been updated in the new orientation, which can cause some weird, funky problems. So having a way to, to place items in the orientation you want them 
uh, without going to third-party plugins would be really, really amazing. I, I I hope it's one of the one of the things that comes to vanilla Minecraft at some point in the very near future. I mean, obviously not for 1.17 because they're they're in the middle of making that happen, uh, and I would not want them to st <laughs> to try to do to try to you know, jump for emergency changes at this particular juncture. That that would not be in anybody's interest, least of all the communities. But for feature updates, you know, just saying, it could be cool. It could be very, very nice. Oh, that reminds me, I need to I make. I just need concrete. Uh, concrete slabs and stairs. Uh, uh, <laughs> one of the devs asked for th asked for missing features, and they included in the tweet besides concrete st slabs and stairs like well I mean the people have spoken you know people want some slabs and stairs man Have they at least said why they haven't done it when obviously like so many people want um, it? They have not said why, but it sounds like uh, <laughs> can't make a uh, can't make metal logs. You got to get planks first. Although that would be kind of nice if you just made a square of logs and it made however many uh, however many chests that would actually turn out to be. Like skip the middle step of converting them into into planks. Alright, anyway. Uh they they haven't said, but it sounds like they're they're starting to look towards uh creating parity for all the blocks that they have. Like so all all the stone blocks that don't have walls and stairs and slabs and things. Um which could be nice. I mean, it, it would be nice to have, like, you know... Well, I say it would be nice to have basalt walls, but would that be different enough from the stone and stone brick to... to warrant the look? I mean, maybe, if it was textured right? I think it would. You know, same for... There are a lot of other things that are very close, but when you, you're texturizing a wall, it gives you just yeah, enough variation. Ju just uh, enough variety to make it worthwhile. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's uh, 128. Guess we'll do it this way. Oh yeah, I forgot I had the fortune axe out. I don't remember why though. But yeah, concrete slabs and stairs. Uh, Making sure that there are slabs and stairs of the different, the the different stone-like blocks. Um, I'd really like to see the stone cutter get kind of rebanded into like a table saw, and also give you the same benefit for wood objects. Where yes, you can use the old crafting recipe and suffer some of the losses that you'd get by crafting that way, but if you used if you use this the the table saw you you saw <laughs> you saw benefits difficult would that be to code because like i know the game looks simple but i also um, know that sometimes the things that look the simplest are the hardest 
for for this, it would actually not be difficult. Uh, many people have put together their own custom data packs that do that. Or at least they've started, and because it's a, you know, a home project run by people who have other things, it, it never finishes, finishes. So you'll get some of the recipes, but not all of them. And some of them also run into the additional problem of uh, each author hasn't figured out exactly how much of a savings you should get for certain types of, certain types of things, like... Do, doing the ma making one wooden plank into one stair that makes sense so how much of a savings on a fence should you get or a button or a button oh yeah yeah one plank for a single button i have never seen a a woodworker of any skill require a a three foot by three foot by three foot plank sorry a one meter by one meter by one meter plank to make a button that that's you know So, with that in mind, how, uh, how many buttons should you get out of a plank efficiently? Nine. Nine? Because mm -hmm. you like nine or because the crafting grid is nine? Because the crafting grid is nine. I mean, look, with, with you, it is a very valid question <laughs> if it's because of the of the crafting grid or because you just like the number nine no actually nine is the only odd number i don't like that's odd <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry what nine is the only odd number i don't like okay okay We're counting in order only including numbers that I like. It's zero, one, three, five, seven, ten. <laughs> okay. Seriously, go through an entire stack of bone meal for this thing to not grow. I don't even know why it wouldn't. Alright, let's see. Uh, my luck. Alright, fine. Drop down a different one. Of course, the irony is... to do this anymore before too long. Which wood do you need? Any. I need chests for hoppers. I need 200. Do not have any? I need 201 hoppers. No, we don't have any chests. What? What, what are you wondering about? We need how much hoppers? 
201. Poor K. For, for a farm that I'm going to be working on. I meant to get it done before today, but publishing the uh, data, recording and publishing the data pack took more time. And my Wednesday, di or my, my Wednesday, my Monday didn't uh, go as planned either. And that's only the first item on the list. I also need 198 solid blocks. I'm probably going to end up using wool because I think that's for running all the redstone lines. I'm going to need 120 plus or minus temporary blocks. I'm going to need 137 you, stone you walls. Gather. My choice. 137 slabs. My choice. 135 redstone dust. 45 sticky pistons, 42 slime blocks, 40 scaffolding, 40 wart blocks, crimson or warped, uh, 37 redstone repeaters, 28 glass, 25 observers, 24 immovable blocks, be they furnaces, glazed terracotta, or leaves, 19 ancient debris, 19 stems, warped or crimson, your choice, 18 fence gates of any variety, 17 composters, 12 regular pistons, 11 chests, 10 dispensers, 8 droppers, 8 ender chests, 8 obsidian, 8 water buckets, 8 powered rail, 6 target blocks, 6 brewing stands, 5 honey blocks, 5 iron trap doors, 5 hopper mine carts, uh, 5 wooden trap doors, 5 nylium, warped or crimson, Four end stone, four levers, three mine carts, three coral fans, three detector rails, three comparators, three redstone torches, three TNT, three uh, two activator rails, two jukeboxes, a redstone block, a note block, a wooden door, and a stone button. A partridge and a pear tree. So what do you need? <laughs> Everything. All the things. Lots of things. Uh, I'm starting up at the... Uh, right two. now, wood. Yeah, right now, lumber. Yeah. Because I'm going to need lumber to make a lot of the things that I need. I think I've got some of this in my redstone box, too. I was trying not to deplete it, uh, although... Now, now that I realize that this is probably going to be one of the last of the few, last few projects. I mean, why am I worried about it? We're near the end. Because hoarding tendencies run strong. Why? Well, I have no idea what you're talking about. Nope. Fly. Look, I mean, I'm at least not sitting there clutching things going, my precious, my precious. Yeah. That's not helping. <laughs> Again, with this helpfulness that you yourself frequently remind us you had no intention of ever being. I didn't say I had no intention. I said I didn't Do know you? I was supposed to be. Well, now that you know you're supposed to be, do you have intention? I'm sorry, you, you, your audio cut out. I, I couldn't, I couldn't hear what you said. Oh, okay. Here, let me get someone to say it. They list you, medic. Could you repeat what I just said? Uh, something about. You expecting help, but you're not really getting it. Yeah, no, I, I don't expect help. Sorry, I was taking care of the homeowners association. <laughs> I, I love how that's what they've become.
May may maybe I should give him a bunch of annoying voices. You haven't cut your grass high enough. You haven't cut your grass high enough. Can two meters too far to the right. Like give him one of those really nasally, annoying voices. Not quite Fran Drescher, but you know. Of course, I really wanted to give the wandering trader a Gilbert Godfrey kind of voice, but I, I couldn't quite manage it. I am a little worried that I keep going to Disney-like sources for these characters. I really wanted the villagers to sound like Krunk from uh, The Emperor's New Groove. And the wandering traders were going to end up sounding like uh, Iago from Aladdin. What makes you worry about using Disney as a source, besides the fact that the mouse sues? Uh, because the mouse sues. Ah. a fair concern. The mouse is vicious. Yes. Although now and again getting a uh, getting a little bit of its own in return. Okay with this. Alright. If it you put wool on top of ice, will it make it less slippery? It, wool or string? String. No. Oh. If you put wool on ice, you'll be walking on the wool, not the string. that in the calendar. Reyes slept. <laughs> Although, <laughs> if we end up doing Skyblock, if I can get this working, um, it's going to be hard for anybody to get sleep. Why? Because sheep don't naturally spawn within so many blocks of the player. So you got to make sure you get a grass patch within a certain radius of the player before you can get sheep for wool. Oh. Yeah. That is a problem. I mean, not for you because you don't sleep anyway. But that, that's yeah, why that's, that's why I was trying to figure out if you know I. I would like to try to keep all the resource packs and data packs as similar across the board. Um, but then I realized that single player sleep really doesn't make sense in a world where uh, ain't nobody getting sleep for a while. I mean, that's a little too close to my life for comfort, but you know. puppies in Skyblock? Uh, yeah, if you can get the conditions for them to spawn correctly. And what conditions do they spawn? Uh, the conditions that I do not recall. That's resoundingly helpful. I try. I try really hard. It's a gift. I really hope I didn't see any spots, but it's really hard to tell. Oh, for string? Yeah. Was that art coming in, or was that medic No, that, that was medic. Mm, oh. No. No, that was me coming in. It's grassland oh. or tundra, with there being ample room in the passive mob count. Ah. Oh yeah, so that means that once you get a uh, once you get a sheep or cow farm going, you're you're not going to get a wolf because the passive mob cap mob cap will be hit. 
<laughs> Depending on how close you are to everyone. Yeah, the islands. Are, I don't know. I don't know if in a multiplayer setting the islands are close enough that you could actually see or not. That's uh, that's one of the. Well, I still got to figure out how to make it work. Can you come double check my stringling? I feel like in my running around the wooded areas, and particularly that I may miss some spots. Oh, play some string for the game. Yep. All right, sixty-four, one twenty-eight, one ninety-two, a hundred and five. Ah, that's enough. Yeah, it also gets kind of interesting getting uh, iron farms and some of that other stuff because you got to create a mob trap of some sort. And, um... Oh. The spruce logs that I farmed up earlier. Program to be in the way. No. I mean, it seems like it sometimes. I'm not gonna lie, but but technically, no. Are you sure? I'm as sure as you can be. You didn't add something in, did you? No. I mean, if that's a thing, I will go looking for it. But no. Thank you. Ah, that's a lot of string. You did miss some spots up here. Oh, well, well no, wait. Is that a slab? No, that's I a slab. I haven't done that section okay. in the middle yet. I'm working outside in. This should be the area that I'm doing now is the last of the inner ring. Doing this one, uh, one bit at a time. Mm hmm Or one octa octagon? Yeah, octagon at a time. Yep. I forgot that he had jump boost out here. That's a lot of string. You tell me. To you see your uh, totem. <laughs> I hadn't even bothered looking down yet, but yeah. Still waiting for a wandering trader to appear. Yeah, just go ahead and pull him in. Katie is still in the area. Mm -hmm. But we should probably do that over where our emeralds and stuffs are. 
so that we have something to trade with him. Hello, great deals. Short time. Uh. Short time offers. We can make that work. We can make that work. Let me know when you're done. That's a deal. We can make that work. Ah, uh, got anything else? Ah, uh, got anything I else? I thought you wanted to buy something. No window shopping. Ah, uh, <laughs> got anything else? No window else? shopping. No window shopping. Ah, uh, got anything else? Uh, got what else do you else? have? No. I don't have no emeralds. We can make that work. Got some good stuff here. Limited time offers. <laughs> oh. Oh. Did your New England intentionally come out? Yes. Okay. Where are you at? There you go. Yeah. Have fun. Hello. <laughs> limited time offers. Yeah, limited time offers. Because they despawn later. Salesman. Exactly. That's what I was going for. Some sort of, some sort of, you know, special kind of salesman. I'm surprised Arcadius didn't comment on the shiny. I didn't hear that one. Yeah. Wait, wait, when you, when you actually buy something from him, one of the four things he says is shiny. <laughs> I like Pitta Dow, what was that? Uh, when he reappears. Oh, come here you. So there he is. I like it. And this time in the video, the YouTube video for the resource pack, at the end of the video, I included all the original recordings. So, what what I actually put in the pack before Minecraft decided to adjust volumes and whatnot. Ah, oh, okay. I kind of wish I had done that for the villager one, but maybe I want to do the next update for it. And that, where you did the pack, that's still one of your most watched things, right? Uh, that is. And it, it, I published, um, I published earlier today, like somewhere around 1600-ish. And the Planet Minecraft page... Already has about 60 views and four downloads. Wow. <laughs> and the YouTube video's got about 25 views. Oh, wow. That's yeah, awesome. I know. It's like my second, wa it's my second most watched video in a day. <laughs> 
I mean, uh, did you guys finish checking for string? Our, our, our trying. Oh no, I, I was over there just checking on how things were going. Uh, the our, top of the pyramid missing one piece. I haven't done the middle block yet, but continue trying. Our, our trying videos get maybe six to ten views. Uh, I think I think Chrono Trigger did just a smidge better than that out of all the different uh, games revisited series. Uh, the Coffee Craft stuff gets uh, less less than a dozen ver of varying amounts. Okay. Um, and thank you, medic. Um, so yeah, I, I just find it funny that that those resource packs, like before the day is out, do better than anything else I've been managing. Well, I hate to say it, but a lot of the other stuff that we do is content that, I mean, well, I'm not saying it's not valuable or fun. It is content that is out there. Yeah, no, 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 I, I, and don't, don't, don't hear what I'm not saying. I understand that part of, part of it is that uh, market saturation. I wouldn't I actually wouldn't even say mar so much market saturation as as um. If you like a particular content creator, you like a particular style, like, uh, and even then, it you got to get that first couple dozen to really get rolling. Mm -hmm. and, and we're just we're not there on that. Gotcha. Well, to be fair, in the grand scheme of things, and how long some of these people went before. Oh yeah, well th that's we that, that's, what, that's what I'm getting at. Uh, we we've been at this a, a very short time, all things considered. Yeah, content creator bibis. And again, uh, our style is definitely a little more laid back than a lot of content creators out there. And for some people, that's Fair. a plus, and for other people, that's uh, that's not so much. Fair. There are a lot of people who are making it big on the content creation, but I just I can't imagine putting that much much into anything uh oh are you talking about the uh emotive content or the time and grind no like the amount of like just pure like raw energy that they put out yeah yeah like I just, I'm not that person. Like, I know there are some things that I say that are excitable, but I'm not like, oh my gosh, about everything. And to me, even just like mentioning the thought of being that way is exhausting. Yeah. Like, actually, for example, um, I have a lot of uh, younger people's in my life who are really into like the Jojo Siwa type thing. And I feel like I ought to pull a Guardians of the Galaxy style. Who? I don't know how that kid does it because she's just like at 11 24 7. Like everything is extra, everything is over the top, and regardless of whatever debate about whether or not that is her true and genuine personality or a modified version, with let's be honest, every creator ever like it's your presentation personality is slightly um, different from who you are. That's natural. I, I didn't realize it until somebody published a video, uh, or sorry, a uh, audio clip from their answering machine that Gilbert Godfrey 
stays in character every time he is public. That is not his actual voice. Oh. That is a character voice. And he okay. stays in character every public moment. So something like that kind of thing, like yeah. I mad like appreciation for it and I admire it and I don't hate it. Like I don't think there's anything wrong with your public persona being exactly that a persona. I mean, I hate to tell people this, but when you go to a store, that salesperson, that's not the real personality. Really? Like, when you leave, they joking on you. That's how it goes. <clears throat> and just that kind of thing. Like, I've got to beef with that. But, like, just to be on like that. Yeah. All the time. To me, just sounds... To be that so kind of on all the time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and, and that is a more extreme version of it, too. Uh, when when you stop and consider that how many people probably have no idea that that is not his every day, and, and once I learned that, it kind of started me made me wondering about uh, Fran Drescher too. Like, yeah, that's fair. Is, is no, she that is, is, is she real voice. always like that, or or is that also a character thing? And she just is supremely in character. All the time, in public. What was that, medic? But that is her real voice. For sure, confirmed or? Yeah, I watched the thing on her. Ah. Hmm. But I mean, I can't. Yeah count the number of people who even on a much lower scale just in working in retail and then people would see me like not in the store setting you know out in my personal day-to-day -day life and we happen to end up at the same place and like oh this is you and it's like yeah dude <laughs> you were expecting I'm not happy to serve everybody every five seconds like <laughs> Now nah, this is me, chilling with my friend, having a beverage, doing whatever. No, I don't want to sit in here about your kid right now, because you are not paying me to. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. We need to, like, <laughs> calibrate the, uh, sugar cane phone. Why? Because it's like a merry-go-round in here. Uh, there is no overflow control in the sugarcane farm. That's why it is yeah. like that. That is why it is like that. Yeah, but we have like one, two, four uh, columns that are empty. Uh, because those are reserved for gunpowder. Half of that storage down there is sugarcane. Half of that storage down there is gunpowder. And the sugar cane's been running a lot longer than the gunpowder. We just never got around to the part where we put in overflow protection. Um, starting the the <laughs> starting the season one reflections. That that is that is that is one thing that I am a little uh, disappointed in myself about. Not all my farms have overflow protection. Several of them had it, like like the iron farm. We added overflow protection after the fact. Um, the gold farm does, but. Technically, the tree farm doesn't, although the tree farm's still not working correctly anyway, so that that's kind of a neither here nor there kind of deal. Um, trying to think of what other farms I, I would be worried about. Your tree farm? 
Well, I am worried about Your it. Your farms aren't supposed to blow us up. Well, it doesn't blow you up. It blows itself up. I think my point's still there. You would think that. I'm also wondering if something got... Push. I, I know. Well, no, not. I know a couple things got pushed weird when uh, when the initial explosion happened. I'm just realizing that. This piston. Probably be there anyway. Why? Ice is difficult to walk on. Yes, it is. Somebody else shuffling through toolboxes looking for that one wrench. Not that one. That one. No, my favorite one. Well, there's only one in this game. The one with the red handled. Say, Can they spawn on top of boxes? Who? Wandering traders? Bad guys. Uh, bad guys? Uh, which which kinds of boxes? Ender chests or regular chests? No, because they're not full blocks. Really? They look pretty full. They're holding stuff. Well, I mean, your chests are full. With all sorts of stuff. But no, they're, they're not a whole block. Um, ow. Go into the stupid cactus. Where are you at? Are you the ice. Oh. I don't, I don't think we need this ice once everything's done, done. Yes, but when I go to test this overnight, I'm not going to tear this down. Yeah, because he's not ready to. Do. Look, the crafting. And right now, it'll spawn everything. The crafting bench is a full block. Mm -hmm. And if you look, okay. the chest and the ender chest are not as tall. Also, if you come to the side, you'll notice that they're not as wide mm -hmm. either uh -huh. by a pixel. That's actually why I use chests and ender chests to uh, align items in the like the guardian farm system. We should just make all our flooring some kind of crafting block. Like half slabs? Bottom slabs? No, or I don't like those. Carpet? No, I don't like this. Are, are you just going to make your entire floor out of storage? <gasps> like, you, you're just That's going to make bad. a floor full of chests? Yeah. <laughs> or sideways barrels. 
Yeah, <gasps> no, because sideways barrels are a full block, and they they will spawn on them. Yeah, but she can light the floor. I mean, you know, put some no. She was talking about stuff. making the floor out of something that they wouldn't spawn on. So, I mean, would Reyes make an entire floor out of barrels for storage? Yes, absolutely. I could make a house out of storage. I, I can't really pick on her because in season zero, I uh, I may or may not have owned a ceiling made out of barrels. And I couldn't remember where I put anything in them. What signs are for? Yeah, but then it got too annoying to work around the signs. And that was before the update that allowed you to put signs on items on the ceiling. Right, uh, if you guys double check this, I believe it is ready for a for real test. So when it is next night. Mm -hmm. We'll see if things go bump in the dark or not. Uh, we just took off with fireworks. cobblestone than I would have expected. But then again, we got Silk Touch a lot earlier this season than we did previously. Kirby. Uh-oh. Oh, I need 42 slime blocks. Stone dust, forty five sticky pistons, forty two slime blocks. Forty scaffolding. Don't do so many rockets doing rocket jumps from here to there. to suggest that in a future season we build the farms closer to the central storage area so we could just dump all the farms directly into storage 
But then I start thinking about how overflow would work, and yeah, I think of it, I think again. Unless farms fed into their own storage, and then we had a separate for everything that wasn't coming through a farm. So in other words, like the the floor below would be all the farm storage. Eh, I don't know. It's an idea to mull over. What did I come here for? I came here for work blocks. Peters require oh they require redstone dust and smooth stone not cobble or sorry it's not smooth stone anymore it's just stone ah, I feel like B doves with his reeds Minecraft hasn't had reeds in forever. Seven, not thirty-four. About that cobble we had. Oh, this is two redstone dust. Okay. I always forget that. Twenty-five observers. Twenty-four removable blocks. And the glazed terracotta do I want? about Java.
20 glass. 25 observers. 24 immovable objects. I shouldn't put the redstone back just yet, but I am, just to clear my inventory a little bit. I'm probably going to need a bunch of this again for some other component. That's where the sticks are. And this... Oh! <laughs> That's why Job is so excited. It's time for a puppy to get fed. Still need a jubba cam. He's a very happy puppy. Fence gates are already made. Do I have 18 fence gates? No. What other random stuff do I have in here? Never mind. I don't want to know. I mean, I want to know, but I don't want to know. <laughs> That's the other thing I need out here. Gates. That means I'm going to need four stacks of 18 sticks. And to 
nut mouth at 8 o'clock at night. And maybe top off my coffee. next lighthouse I won't make the glass bubble as big and I won't make the cap as big either although I never did get around to, to thinning that cap anyway it is technically thicker than the original design what planks do I have in here none none all right I need Should be enough, right? Oh, no, of course not. What team? storage. I want to say we crafted up a stack in a bit the last time. Oh, that is not a good place to glitch out. Composters has definitely been one of the most, uh, one of the biggest utility blocks that have been added this go around. All right, how many composters do I need? 17. with which uh, medic already put out that way. Although I might not. Well, this design is actually using local storage, which I'm uh, I'm going to place somewhere else. I'm going to take the, the storage from this farm and send it over there. So really any... Uh, sorry. Uh, Eleven. Any complete thoughts are apparently not going to happen. Sorry. Okay. Ten dispensers and eight droppers. Oh, I got twenty dispensers already. Uh just need 10. Oh, that's right. I was going to need 
because I was thinking about doing two of these. Alright, uh... Eight droppers. I need eight ender chests. Yikes. I hate running that low. People who'd be triggered by that aren't here. For shame. Alright, eight ender chests. Eight obsidian. or just to be able to make eight water sources, but I'll grab eight water buckets anyway because I think we actually have it sitting around here. I think we've got a uh, box that's nothing but water buckets for some reason. Yeah, we had two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because that's not going to take up space. Six target blocks. Hmm, that's going to be an interesting one. Oh. Did I have any in my chest? Nope. Oh, okay. How many? Six. Six brewing stands. I know I don't keep those handy. We don't have six. Uh, hmm. All right. Uh, Blaze farm. That was one of the things that I never got around to doing this go around. Laser on cobble, right? Mine 
No, 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 no. Oh. sleep before more than just the homeowners association comes by. Poor Java. Hunting for every little uh, morsel that he can get. Just in case he's missing anything. Five million uh, crimson. So I've taken the crimson option with every other one. Is there a? Uh... Let me miss that. Oh, you know what I ought to do? I ought to restock on rockets before I head out there anyway. But I think there's a crimson forest not too far from uh, where our nether base is. Never to get a proper nether hub together either. I mean, we got a sorted nether hub on the roof, but uh, although I, I do like the paths, I would I just wouldn't mind uh, some protected tunnels around the place too. Although we never we never really did a nether hub in uh, season zero either. Well, no, we had something pretty closely approximating a nether hub. Crimson Forest, Crimson Forest. I think there is one down. Oh, the nether's loading a little too low for me. A little too slow for me. Hi, guys. Is it this way? I used to seeing so much glowstone floating around. We Usually we've, uh, Pillaged it for all it's worth. Oh, of course. I needed a crimson forest. Not... Not this guy. Should be one over this way, though. I know what I forgot. A compass. I think I got one in my ender chest. That's a lot of crimson forest. Oh, 
That's a dead end. Oh, no, it's not. Or maybe it is. I'm here. Be ashamed to let that go to waste. <laughs> go to waste. <laughs> we, we get a we get a piglin trading farm that gives us all the uh, all the nether raw nether quartz we need. It doesn't give us the ores, grant you, but uh. It still ain't that bad. There's my silk touch pick. Let's uh, keep going this way, maybe. Oh, oh, hi guys. Hi, friend. We're friends, right? I got my hat. That's not very friendly. Oh, that's a lot of people. Oh, that's a lot. Of, no, I. You are not friends. You, you are not friends at all. Oh, no, that's just more of the same. I see a lot of not friendly stuff loading. Oh, <laughs> I guess I don't have to worry about finding my way home. All right, let's uh, stop a minute, get a snack. Maybe. Grab an extra compass. I know that there's a crimson forest somewhere not that far from here. Because that's where we have our hog farm. I just don't think that there is a direct flyable route between here and there. Oh. Oh, this is not the place for the Elytra to stall. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Nope. 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 Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this the easier way, or the smarter way. I get a bunch of regular old netherrack. We've got a pumpkin farm that produces more than enough bone meal, and uh. I'm just gonna go bone meal some netherrack next to the warp nile or the crimson nilium that we've got. I keep wondering, uh, I might, I might make a machine for duplicating it, but you'd have to have somebody. You'd, yeah, there's no way to do that without player involvement. Well, I wonder if I could get that set up so that way. Uh, You would have the observer look for the player to put a nylium block. Or sorry, you'd have the observer look for another like you put the nether rack in the offhand. It could be modeled in a fashion similar to the concrete maker. So you put the the nether rack in your offhand, the silk touch pick in your main hand. And the observer checks for when you place. Wait. So the observer checks for placing that, bone meals it, and then you farm it. 
But you would have to have it. You would have to have it. You, yeah, it sounds interesting, but you'd have to have it so that way it bone mealed before you had an opportunity to... Oh, somebody packed up the uh, chessboard. You would have to have it, you'd have to have it bone meal it before you had an opportunity to, um, to, uh, words. How do they work? Oh. <laughs> Are we going to use red and black slabs? Actually, we could use red and black slabs. You could use, um the red nether brick and uh, and uh, the the blackstone polished blackstone although on the other hand you could have it um uh, Instead of actually, instead of doing something like a concrete maker, you could just have it so that way, as soon as you put the block down, it bone meals it and pushes it out of the way. Uh, but you would have to have a system for moving the nylium around such that no block sat on top of it. Because, like grass, if a block sits on top of a nylium block long enough, it, um, uh, I forgot to put the fire resistance potions back. It, it'll die like a grass block will. And you wouldn't want that. So I, I guess I guess you could set it up to push, push, push until you hit the limit and then push out and then maybe once you got to a certain point push it down twice no uh, hmm. welcome back medic that happened all the people they got put away for checkers. Oops. I'll fix that later. Of course, I still haven't gotten around to... I know you can make a farm for these guys. Which, I think I got all the pieces sitting out there just waiting for me to build it. Uh, you, get, you can make a farm for... The, uh... Twisted variant. That... I have all the pieces for sitting around here somewhere. I guess there are a couple of smaller farms, too. I, I might... I might get the uh, designs for those guys together and do that on next week's live stream. I'll get the big project done off camera because it's the kind of project that uh, to maintain the language standards I try to keep I need to do off camera. shouldn't get too mad. We, we don't have a whole lot of these guys either. Wouldn't mind getting a uh, farm for the little mushrooms either. Because we're going to need it if we're going to do more of these guys around. Although, I don't know if that project is still technically on the plate 
for season one. I didn't realize I had all that bone meal here already. I still never did the uh, farm with the foxes either. I'll have to get that going too. Add it to my list of small... That's what I need to do. Between now and next week, I need a list of the... the smaller, simple farms that I, I've been meaning to finish. I got a couple of big farms that need to get done too. should not take this much focus to bone meal ground, but apparently it does. There we go. Might as well put that there. That goes back there. I needed five of these guys. The rest can go into storage. I'll let that run once, uh, once I'm done. I need four in stone. And I know I got plenty of that back at the lighthouse project. source list here. I need a ladder for getting in and out of there too. Stone, Nylium, I need four levers. TNT dupers on this one. It's how the original farm is designed, and I'm not. I'm given everything else that is involved with it. I'm not sure that I'm up to the task of retrofitting it for a regular TNT dropper. Um, cool. Yeah, how many? Three. Say what kind of coral fan? Need three detector rounds. Three comparators. Three redstone torches. TNT I guess we got enough sand for me to make three TNT
two activator rails. Two jukeboxes. I don't... I don't think we have... I don't think we have any jukeboxes. What, a diamond surrounded by logs, if I remember right? some juke boxes at my base. I'm heading back there right now. Okay. I'll hold tight. Need one redstone block. One note block, which I think I've got over my redstone box. I've got the stuff here. I'll make them. I just need to. If this works out well, I may have to collect it all again for the second go around. stone button. I was going to say, if I don't have a stone button in here, there's something very, very wrong. Alright. Uh, the only thing I don't have over here are the solid blocks that I'm going to use for the random construction, but I'm going to pull the wool out and use that as I go for um, each circuit, so that way I can keep it all straight. Temporary blocks. Walls. There's a random shulker over here that has a bunch of uh, redstone stuff in it. Uh, where is here? I just picked it up. It was over by the um, coarse fruit flower farm. Uh, yeah, I, that's the sugar. That's the bamboo farm that I had packed up and was going to move. To a different location. Oh, okay. Well, I'll put it back down. And yeah, yeah, that's all the all the bamboo farm stuff. You like the entrance? Yeah, it's pretty cool.
Yeah, that farm works pretty good too. Although it's probably not going to help that I've been over here loading in whatever's under the caves below me. Uh, well, that, that is one of the nice things if we, uh, if I can get the sky block to work for our little season interim. You won't have to worry about mobs loading in caves below you. There'll be no caves below you. sure that I get everything I need there. I got some extras if I need to craft it. So uh, next week, hopefully, there'll be a big honking machine over there and you'll see what I was preparing to build. And if that actually works out better than some machines, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I'll build its twin uh, over here and do something very, very similar. Uh, and between now and next week, I need to put together a list of the small farms I intended to put in that I can do on a live stream and maybe get the design roughed up so that way mostly I just got to build it and explain what's going on. Yeah, that's not precarious. That's a big... Where's everything being stored? Uh, which everything? In this skeleton farm. Up top. So oh, then, I, okay. yeah. So if you're not, lo so if you're looking for the results of the farm, you don't have to go down, pick it up, and then come back up. It's uh. It's all right there. Bones, arrows, and everything else. <laughs> and in the near future, we need to make sure that uh, every farm has a sign on it with either where we got it or uh, that we built it ourselves. I'd like to do a video on the wool farm that Medic and I put together way back in the beginning of the series. Because I think that is a, a unique enough combination of ideas to, to merit that. Uh, some of the other stuff that I've put together is... Like, like this guy right here, that's that's a hot mess. Maybe maybe in the next version, uh, <laughs> something that's a little more compact. Uh, yeah, the gunpowder farm was somebody else's design. Although it's hard to say who at this point because it's a design that's gone around a bajillion in two times. Although I think I put a sign. A sign down with the video that I referenced when I was doing it. Um, and I know there's a few others. That, like, I don't think I have signs up by the gold farm. I need to make sure that I get those up. Uh, I've got the signs that I'm going to put for this farm once I get done. I've got signs in the tree farm. I know I got this one from... Technically, mostly from Doc M 77 Although, he was referencing some other people's designs. And I might actually try a different iron farm. Because I've seen, I've seen a couple of designs going around that compact that so it takes up a little less space. And, and I, I kind of like that idea. Taking up a little less space. Although, the only problem with their design is... And that design is there's no way to shut it off. I really wish I could have figured out a way to shut that uh, shut the iron farm off without flying up and sticking a couple of random honey blocks. You know? That nether wart farm was fun to build, fun to fun to go through, but I don't think I'll ever build that that one again. I think I'll just stick to the bog standard. Lots and lots and lots of floors of uh, soul sand and just manual planting. 
<laughs> That's kind of what I have, especially with the uh, was it soul speed on your boots or something like that? You yeah, do it really quick. Yeah, you just got to keep an eye on the durability on your boots. That, that's how you. Uh, that's how you break stuff. <laughs> but I think most of our other stuff is uh, pretty well, pretty well documented. <laughs> I might be forgetting about. Uh, yeah, I need to get a sign up for the multi-item storage system. Yeah, I'll have to run around, see what's missing signs, go find them. Alright, let me uh, park myself somewhere safely and do the outro, and then see if there's anybody available for raid. Park myself safely. Head on over to the credits. Oh, I'm glad I stopped when I did. That electric's looking awfully sad. <laughs> oh, you'd had a chance to see the totem as I fell from the sky and died. I need to top off my totem supply too. All right, this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Uh, I, I'm more of a laid back kind of guy for, especially for this kind of stuff. Uh, hopefully, hopefully next week I'll have something a little, that, that doesn't quite drag as much. That, that's got a little more to it. Some more farms, uh, a lot of small mini farms that I'm, that I've been planning to put together and never get around to it. Uh, I'll have that list and, uh, we'll see how many we can get through in a day. Or in a live stream session, at least, and go from there. And next week we'll see the mystery farm that I dug that hole out for. Actually, even finally put together a beacon. Uh, I, I set up the little Ender Killing Station over at underneath the, uh, or sorry, the Wither Killing Station underneath the end. That worked out like a charm. It felt like cheating. It's not. It felt like it, but it's not. Uh, <laughs> and all that good fun. All right, let me, uh, who's available for a raid? Oh, I thought Beast Lord would have been on. He's usually on. Is he on? It's just not showing me. I think he is live. Tried to give me an ad, and uh, uh, okay, yep, Beast Lord is playing Battlefield. I don't know why he didn't show up on my auto list of uh, live channels to raid, so I'm gonna say thank you again. I'm gonna hit the title card, don't leave yet. We'll uh, raid Beast Lord with our paltry two viewers and, and go from there. It's that kind of day. Have fun. <laughs>